This video might save your website because there's a huge extinction going on online right now. A lot of websites are getting destroyed because they don't know what to do. So in this video, we're going to go over a lot. It's probably going to be one of the most valuable videos on this whole channel, right? I'm going to show you tools that we use at my agency, Rank Expand, that now we're giving you access as well. So we'll do that later in the video. You're going to see how we rank websites. Now, there's a huge problem, and the problem is most people nowadays... If you go on to LinkedIn, you go to YouTube as well, everyone is talking about what? We're talking about how to rank your website on ChatGPT, Claude Perplexity. So Ahrefs just did this blog post, AI traffic has increased 9.7x in the last year. Sounds like a lot, but you need to read into it a bit more because of the 82,000 websites that they looked at, Google, hello, Google is still almost 40% of all traffic. ChatGPT is not even 1%, right? Perplexity, much less. Let's come down here. Let's just keep going with it, right? I need to drive this point home. ChatGPT, out of all the AI chatbot traffic distributions is 83%. So if we want to rank on anything, we want to rank on ChatGPT if we want to be prepared for the future. So at my agency, right? And you can use this tool, link in the description, check it out. There's going to be limited quantity. We do what is called semantic branching. I'm going to get into this, right? It's pretty technical. We're going to go over three different websites. We're going to go over a lawyer's website. We're going to go over a e-com website if this thing ever loads, how to rank this. And we're going to go over a cruise website, right? An affiliate website. And I'm going to show you exactly how my agency would rank these websites. Now, starting off, let's have a good foundation here. If you're not showing up on Google and ChatGPT, you are already behind. Listen, listen, let's just calm down a second. You should still focus on Google. Google is your main source, your main opportunity if you have a website, right? ChatGPT is going to be more relevant over time. So step number one is semantic right? Revisions. Let's just do this together. Revisions. Now, of the three websites that we're going to work on, let's just go after the lawyer. Nah, let's do the e-com first. Seven supplements every man should be taken, right? So what I did, if I come over to Google, I typed in a huge keyword, supplements for men. Do you see it up here? Humongous. In other words, there's a lot of money behind this keyword if you can rank higher. So if we scroll down, we have AI overview, we have sponsorships, this, that, and another. So what I did, I came down to somebody, this one right here, who's not ranking too high, right? So off the bat, if I zoom in, do you see this website? It's ranking top 10. Does anyone see a problem right here? Should they not go in and immediately update this article? Yes. So I'm going to tell you off the bat, one of our main strategies is to continuously update articles. Freshness matters if you want to rank on Google. So if we click on this, this is what the blog post looks like. Now, we are not robots. We do not know how AI thinks, but luckily we have tools that can do this for us now. Now, before we go any further, I'm going to tell you, if you are a business owner, if you have a website and you think this would be valuable for you, we offer a free semantic branch and SEO audit. This is how we rank websites. You have to qualify for it. We have limited spots. I'll have a link in the description. You get so much value. You have to put in your information. Tell us what's going on with your website. But listen, what we're going to get into in the future part of this video is very complicated. I'm going to show you what we do, but if you need help, reach out. Okay, step one, semantic revisions. Let's do it together. So most websites need to be fresh. You need to freshen them up, but if you do it willy-nilly, you could actually hurt your website. So this is the tool I'm talking about, semantic branching analysis. Discover how AI systems deconstruct your content. Right? That's what matters, semantic branches. I've talked about semantic branches in this video right here. You can look at it. I'll have a link in the description, but this video is where the rubber hits the road. So if you want to use this tool, type in your URL, your email, come down. You can export this analysis. Great. Now, a lot of information here is pretty technical in jargon. Some people will benefit, some won't. But we have this whole executive summary, actionable recommendations. But what I like the most... This is what is most powerful, in my opinion, is paragraph level analysis. Now, what we do is we do paragraph level analysis for the whole article internally. And that's that's a big ask, right? We're not going to be able to give that to everyone for free. But we do paragraph level analysis on the first three paragraphs of any article that you import. And what's really important with that is Google perceives, ChatGPT perceives, the top part of any article as the most important. 
and that goes to reason, right? So if I come over here to this article, seven supplements every man should be taking, let's say we wanna rank this higher, well, it goes to reason that these two paragraphs right here are most important. They're the first things in the article. So coming back here, let's look at paragraph three analysis. We scroll down a bit to the left, we're gonna see the original content. Right? And to the right, we're gonna see the optimized version, the semantically optimized version. Now, before we get into that, we're, let's just go down here. Content optimization recommendations. So the target, right? This is an entity, gender specific health concerns in the article, right? Suggestion, elaborate on what these concerns might be, such as heart health or testosterone levels. And that's exactly what it recommended here. So it gives you the actual copy that you could use. Address gender specific health concerns like testosterone levels. That was missing over here. And what that means is it's adding in very huge keywords. Keywords matter. Think of keywords as just, you know, semantic entities, right? Missing entity integration. So import entities from your full page that should be incorporated. Look here, discuss the broad impacts of supplements on men's health recommended position in the beginning. So we can do this for anything. That's just one little paragraph in a whole article. And to take it one step further, I told you we go over three websites. Let's do this homepage. So this is the lawyer's homepage. I don't know these websites. I don't know these people. I don't know the owners. These are the first time I've seen them in this past you know, couple minutes. Anyways, so on their page, paragraph level analysis, semantic, paragraph one analysis, the original content is right here. What it's proposing, if we come down here, is missing entity integration. It's saying, mention compensation when discussing legal rights to underscore the financial aspect of injury claims. So that was missing, right? And where it put it is right here, compensation entitlements. And what you can do is you can actually just copy, see this little button here, you can copy that and put it to your website. Paragraph two of the website, very, very important. Look, it's saying right here, and consult. So this was the missing part to say, add this to the paragraph and consult with a legal professional to evaluate potential compensation claims. Why? Expand on injuries to include types of injuries and their implication on legal claims. What this is doing, it's telling us how robots, AI, think so that we can rank higher on Google and ChatGPT. Now, step two, let's keep moving fast, is pacing your website. So listen, you should always be doing new content to your website as well. That matters. So what we just talked about was revisions. Revisions are different than new content. So if you combine the two, new content plus revisions, you have to pace out your website. Here's my question to you. How many pages should you revise a day? How many pages should you create new a day? And that depends on every different website's ability to index on Google. In other words, you have to see what Google will naturally index on your website to kind of figure out, can I do 20 revisions a week? Can I do 50 revisions a week? You know, if you push it, like I said, all of this can go haywire a million different ways if you do not do it the right way. And the third step, right, if I were to write it right here after semantic revisions, after pacing your website would be what? I might as well write it down. Boost your website. How do you do this? It's very, very, very simple. You either do it yourself or you hire someone to do it. Most people hire us to do it. It's not terribly complicated. Hi, authority, backlinks. If you know what you need, you come down here, you pick what DR backlink you need. Most people go for DR30 plus, order now, type in how many you need, come over here, get contact information, so on and so forth, put your information in. It's done. If you can do all three of these things, revise content, create new content, and boost your website, then you have a chance to rank on Google and ChatGPT. So my recommendation today is to check out this tool, the Semantic Branch and Analysis. Very, very cool. Type in your URL, your email, and then you can also book a strategy call with us, a free strategy call. Tell us, you have to tell us what's going on with your website because we get so many people wanted to talk, right? We can't talk to everyone. We need to see if you qualify for a strategy call. It's free though. We'll see if we can help you, see if we can give you some recommendations. Anyways, hope you like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.